guys, gals, and gamers, GC here. Welcome to another GC Top 6 list. And today we're talking about unpopular games. Now, it's a known fact that not everyone is going to like the same thing. A lot of people that I know love the Marvel movies, but I personally don't care for them. A lot of people love pop music, but I am more into that hardcore metal scene, you know what I'm saying? And the same goes with games. There's a lot of popular games that I personally don't care for, and then there's a lot of unpopular games, which obviously get a lot of hate. Now, I want to clarify something on this list. These aren't bad games. In fact, they're pretty good. Some of them have done really well with sales. But, when we're talking from a fan base, they're sort of unpopular. They're not as good as either the games in the same genre, or they're not as good as other games before them in the series. Uh, you'll know what I'm talking about when we get into the list. But before I begin, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you all so much. And here we go. Six games that really don't deserve the hate. At number six, we're starting off the 2015's Fallout 4, which doesn't deserve the hate, but also kind of does. Now, the story is complex and interesting. You being frozen and waking up 200 something years later, and then looking for your son, the combat really hadn't changed, the leveling up system was now more streamlined, the game was plagued with bugs, glitches, and crashes, especially in downtown Boston, and that awesome dialogue system we had in old Fallout games was now replaced with four options with a voice protagonist. I think I'd rather have the multiple options than a voice protagonist if I'm being honest. The game did well, it sold really well, but I've, every Fallout fan I've talked to have, has agreed that Fallout 3 and New Vegas were definitely better than Fallout 4. At number 5 is 2019's Golden Joystick winner, Days Gone, an open world zombie apocalypse game that doesn't get a lot of love or even respect despite winning PlayStation's Game of the Year in 2019 and selling 8 million copies in about two years. Somehow Horizon and Ghost do that and it's fine to get a sequels, but not this game. Ben Studio tried their hardest with creating an interesting, vibrant, and interactive world, but a lot of people considered this a Last of Us ripoff because apparently only Naughty Dog is allowed to make zombie games with an interesting story and character. Either way, the game ended on a bit of a cliffhanger, but Sony decided to pull the plug on any sort of sequel so that they could remaster Last of Us 2. And people wonder why I'm bitter. One of the most universally hated games by all Battlefield fans is massively loved by yours truly. And let me be clear, I did try other Battlefield games, but honestly, I don't like military-based shooters. But give me a game of cops and robbers and I am a happy guy. Hardline might have been massively hated by the fans. In fact, after this game, Battlefield went right back to its military base roots to get fans back on their side. But for me, this is the only Battlefield game I'll continuously play and I kind of hope it does get a sequel one day, but I doubt that'll happen. Now, to a degree, I understand the hatred of this game. Sure, we got this open map, but with the characters being lackluster, repetitive side quests, and story that is kind of all over, it's safe to say why a lot of Final Fantasy fans avoid this game. And as someone who is a massive fan of Final Fantasy, I tend to agree with those fans. But, I still enjoy this game. More than I should, actually. Combat is fun and interesting. Okay, you can't switch between characters, but tomato, tomato, it's still fun and interesting. Soundtrack is awesome, I love it. The summons are great to see. The Titans, Shiva, all of them, fantastic. The main villain is interesting, and of course, the best part of the whole game, the fishing minigame. I love this fishing minigame, it's one of my favorites. Still though, a good chunk of Final Fantasy fans have said how they absolutely hate this game, and I see their point. I can understand why they hate this game. Come on, are you really that surprised? Almost everyone I've talked with has some sort of criticism about Cyberpunk, even to the point that a lot of them, when given the chance, return the game. 
Now, the game still made over $11 million and has a ton of diehard fans, me included, but it was still considered a massive dumpster fire by a company who produced one of the best games in the last 10 years, Witcher 3. I was one of the many who refused to return the game as I did enjoy it, and knowing CD Projekt Red like I do, I knew they were going to fix this game. But without a doubt, this game definitely changed players' view of the company. It didn't for me, as far as I'm concerned. I still like this game, check out my review of it, and I still see the potential of it, but I understand why some fans just said, nope, we're done with this. So while CD Projekt Red lied to its fans about Cyberpunk, Bioware didn't, but they also made a game that had nothing to do with the original trilogy, which upset a lot of fans, especially after the Mass Effect 3 ending. Also was the fact that the game wasn't developed by big company Bioware in Edmonton, but a small Bioware company in Montreal. The game had bugs, glitches, and issues that made the game less than enjoyable. Also included is the, is the fact that there was a ton of open side quests, which was very much going to be addressed in either DLC or a second game. But nope, fans of Bioware were upset and lost trust with the company. I personally enjoyed the new characters, the story, and okay, the combat is half and half, but not everyone agreed, and any future plans for Andromeda were eventually scrapped. So guys, gals, and gamers, that is it for my list. What do you think? Is there a game I missed that should have been on this list that is sort of unpopular, but doesn't deserve the hate? Let me know down below. Thank you all so much. Don't forget you hit the like and subscribe button for more gaming content from me. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. My links will be down below as well. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you later.